Samurai Cop is one of those movies that's so bad it's good. When you watch it for the first time, you're completely confused about what the hell is going on and what you're watching. The terrible acting, effects, camera work, and editing throw you off guard, and because they're so glaring, it's easy to miss a lot of the little things that make this movie terrible. Bingo. Since I've seen this movie, frankly, too many times, I've had time to notice some of those things, and I thought I'd point them out to you now. I'll start with the best one. What is it? This always shocks people when I point it out, but after you've seen it, you'll wonder how you ever missed it. In this scene, early in the film, look at the cop named Preacher. Look closely. Notice anything under his nose? I'm not sure exactly what that is, but I seriously think it might be cocaine. Since this film was made in the late 1980s, it's not that much of a stretch. I don't know, maybe he had a runny nose or something, but if cocaine was being used on the set of this film, it would certainly explain a lot. Shut up! Next up, anyone who's ever worked on a film or television set is familiar with gaffer tape. It's commonly used to, well, tape shit together behind the scenes, but obviously you're not supposed to see it on camera. You can see it clearly in this scene on the inside ceiling of Samurai Cop's car. I've never seen gaffer tape on the inside of someone's car before and they didn't even try to hide it. You can also see it here taped across some blinds for some reason, probably to prevent sunlight from creeping in, although I'll forgive you if your eyes are being drawn somewhere else. Now one of the most obvious and hilarious problems with Samurai Cop is that the filmmakers used locations that were clearly not what was called for in the script. For example, this scene in the restaurant was clearly meant to be in a fancy, upscale place, with Samurai Cop bursting in and disturbing the patrons. Unfortunately, all they could find was a dingy old dump with dirty windows and a table next to some dishes, hardly where a crime boss would eat. The thing most people never notice, though, is when Robert Zadar stands up, there's a hilarious little doll pinned to the wall behind his head. Now, one of the first things you learn when you start to use a camera is that you shouldn't frame shit coming out of a person's head like this, especially not if it's a goofy trinket that's completely inappropriate for the scene. You can spot other goofy shit like this throughout the film, and if you ever make a movie of your own and have to shoot it in your uncle's restaurant, move the trinkets before you start rolling. After that scene is over, there's a brief fight outside the restaurant. One thing you may not have noticed is the flawless blood spurt effect when Robert Zadar shoots one of his henchmen. Yes, that's actually a special effect. No, they didn't shoot the guy for real, I think they used a paintball gun, and it looks fantastic. Just look at it. Look how flawless that special effect is. The same parking lot is used just minutes later as a different location complete with a little doggy and the same cars that just blew up. At the start of the movie, the drug dealers are using a rent-a-boat because apparently that was all the filmmakers could find. Later on, Samurai Cop is talking to the helicopter pilot lady over a headset that is either invisible or it doesn't exist. It. I'll see you back at your place. Later on in the movie, when the helicopter pilot lady is killed, the gun she uses is different than the one she pulls out of the drawer in the insert shot. One of those same henchmen clearly wasn't very interested in being in the movie at all because in an earlier scene when the coke cop gets killed, you can see him pacing around in the background as if he just wants to leave. I don't think this was the character's motivation, I think that the actor they pulled off the street was genuinely bored and wanted to get out of there. I'm going to take his lead and end this video because I've clearly talked enough about Samurai Cop already. If there are any little gems of hilarity or annoyance that you think I've missed, please let me know in the comments, and if you haven't seen Samurai Cop, do yourself a favor and sit down and watch it. Have you been circumcised? Shut up.